I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise random pulls. The purpose of the exercise is to practice identifying the strength of the hand. With Siamese Mahjong, you're playing two hands at one time, so you have a lot of tiles to consider. This exercise will help you with that critical skill of identifying the strength so you can find your footing and start playing. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll do 28 tiles as player one, and then we'll do 27 tiles as player two, back to 28. Look at all those bams. We have three flowers, a red and, red and green dragon, northwest south, almost news. Here we have three, five, seven, eight, nine in cracks, one, five, six, seven in dots with a pair of sixes. Here are the bams. One, two, three, five, six, seven, pair of ones, pair of fives, pong of sixes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first set of discards? If these were my tiles, I would play the concealed consecutive hand using fives and sixes. And then I would recover maybe with a wind and dragon hand or maybe dra uh, flowers with one, two, three. Okay, five, six, five, six, seven, concealed. Pung, 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 pair. That's what we got to get up to. So we got to build, but there's no gaps for that concealed hand. Then up here, we could play news concealed. We could play news with dragons. We could play one, two, three with flowers. Second hand down under consecutive run. I think that uses the most tiles, seven, seven tiles plus two multiples. Here we have five tiles. Here we have seven tiles. So I think news with dragons might work. The thing is, is we're very light with our dragons. Here we can leverage a pung and a pair for one, two, three flowers. I would keep one, three, five because there is some potential for one, three, five but we wouldn't be able to use the flowers because the one, three, five hands in one suit would be a challenge. Now, another thing we might consider is like numbers with ones or maybe a multiplication hand with one, three, five, if we can build up. So there's some potential here with ones and little odds. So I would keep those, and these would be my first discards. Consecutive run, little odds, or a news hand. And then for sure, consecutive concealed hand. This could be a winner, and if, if the drawing goes well, I would even push for pure for extra value. It's a lofty goal, I know, but I dream big.
we have a flower, one of each of the dragons, almost news. In cracks, we have two, three, five, six, seven, nine, pairs of threes and sevens. We have a couple of jokers. We have one, three, five, six, seven in dots, one, three, or two, three, four, nine in bams with a pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, my eye immediately went to big odds, five, seven, nine. And I noticed we have one, three, five down here. So I thought about the concealed odd hand. No gaps and we're using a multiple. One, three, five, five, seven, nine, single pair pung, single pair pung. That's the shape of that hand. We do have some help with jokers. I thought too that maybe we could keep these because we could perhaps play one, three, five, seven, nine, the first hand in one suit if we get one cracks. So I would want to keep those with odds. Then we would recover up here with probably a year hand in one of these suits maybe using winds, maybe dragons. I would probably discard those first because we do have some chance for a pair hand. Two, three, four with news. That might be stronger than a year hand with winds. So probably I would focus there and fall back on a year hand, maybe collect twos and dragons, but focus here. So these would be my first discards and I would play odds and then maybe a pair hand or a year hand. One of the nice things about playing a pair hand is you can use all your jokers for the second hand. So these would be dedicated down here. Unless we play the year hand, of course, then we could use it interchangeably while concealed. We have a joker, one of each of the dragons, almost news with multiples, west and south. Here we have cracks with a pair of fours, two, three, four, six, seven. We have a couple of flowers. Here's one, three, five, seven, nine in dots, two, three, four, five, eight, pair of fives in bands. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would probably push for a pair hand using news. And we have two opportunities for the consecutive run, two, three, four, or three, four, five with those tiles. Three, four, five with news or two, three, four with news. So that leaves these tiles down here for another hand. We could play odds, no multiples there. The other thing I was thinking is that we could do whichever run we don't use with news, we could use the concealed hand with opposite dragons. Now the challenge is that we would have a lot of discards. So, and we wouldn't be able to use these because the news pair hand 
and the concealed dragon hand do not use flowers. So these would be all our discards. That is way too many discards. I try to get to where I have four, let's see, eight discards or less. So here we have three too many. So I would rework that plan. It looks good for the news hand and even maybe the concealed offsuit hand. But if you think about it, look at all these discards here. We have really one too many with joker bait with flowers, which is really not good joker bait. It's risky joker bait, I think. So I try not to use flowers as joker bait. I would rather rework the plan and use the flowers. So the way that we could use the flowers would be to play news concealed. Maybe use this to help because we have a gap, no east. News concealed, or we could play news with dragons. And then down here, maybe we could play three, four pair hand. It's a little bit light because we have no four, but that would leave us again with eight discards, joker bait. This is potential for maybe a year hand with news. So this might be a little more flexible because fives make better joker bait than flowers. So I would probably play this, maybe hold the two for a potential year hand with news. And that takes us down to seven discards and joker bait, options, and a pair hand. So I think this is how I would play this particular set of tiles. Three, four, pair hand. That is the third hand down under singles and pairs. And then news with dragons or a year hand with news. Now we do have a couple of extra tiles in here that would need to be discarded, but I, I would keep them for flexibility. And probably hold on to this as long as possible because if the news pair hand works, we might be able to do two, three, or three, four, five with news or two, three, four with news and then recover with something consecutive using tiles two through five in here, in which case I might even keep this five, which actually that particular idea takes us down to six discards with flexibility. So two through five, hopefully using news, maybe playing a pair hand. I think that's what I would do here. This would be a fun one to play out. It's a little complex because of the options. One of the many reasons why I enjoy playing Siamese Mahjong is that it's very flexible. And each player has preferences that can be enjoyed because the game is so flexible. When you get those tiles, you can play just about any category on the card with the right decisions at the right time. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give random pulls a try and practice identifying the strength of a dealt hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.